Hello and welcome everyone, I'm C.S. Gilmore, and this is Astro Near. Uh, this is something I've been playing with my kids quite a bit, as you can see. I've got some save files. Uh, we're gonna just start a new uh, adventure here for the sake of recording purposes. We take off from this station, and down to the planet we go. Oh wow, we can see a lot from just here. See that weird device over there. Alright, lost track of it probably a bit there. Oh, there's another one. Big structure over there. Alright. So, I know I'm already recording several different games and some of them kind of sad a bit. I haven't done Mechanicus in a while. Like, there's then little bits here and there. But, I, I, I realized, I was thinking about it, I was like, I really need to play the game a bit and interest me that I'm enjoying right now. Like, I shouldn't just play a game for the sake of playing through it and recording everything about it. Not that I don't want to finish up some of the series that I've started, but like, I'm kind of realizing more with time that sometimes it's maybe better not to wrap up all the series. Like, especially with other games, they take so long. Um, I, like, uh, Loop Hero. I might record more of that. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to, because I'm going to play it a bit more. But at the same time, it takes a long time to record it because it requires so much grinding between getting things done. And I only have a couple hours usually in the evening, to even maybe an hour or two hours, three on a good night when I can really record and work on something. So I have to prioritize my time a bit. So if like so the series are taking extremely long to record, I I may not be able to really stick to that as a thing that I'm working on as much. Let's drop these off here. Alright. But it's also one of those, you know, I have to just figure out what works best. I, I also probably have noticed that I haven't recorded a day for the diver in a while. Because, like, it gets very grindy trying to get that last DLC content. So I'm like, I don't even know if that broke. I mean, like, with how it went, I'm not sure if it'll even actually work with that DLC content, or if it worked right, or if it'll. If it's broken. Uh, I don't know, it's I'm currently kinda of moved on playing wise with it, I to doing other things and I don't want to spend time doing something that just for the sake of trying to get recordings done with it. Necessarily if it's like the if I'm not gonna enjoy doing it at the same time. I mean it's not like my channel's that big, I'm not exactly getting paid to do some of this, so I might as well do what I enjoy as well at the same time. We got something over there. So this game, as you can see, you start off on the planet, you got this little thing here, you got this here. Uh, I should probably check the mission log. Alright, arrived on Silva. Survive the landing on Silva. Alright, let's... Uh, so you get a bunch of missions, and as you complete them, they give you things. So, let's see, this one I have to unpack Oxygenator, install Oxygenator on Shelter, just accept that mission, yep. Connect printer power to Shelter. Retrieve starting gear from that. So yeah, they give you some stuff, the missions are a really good way to get some things, especially early on when you can't just make everything. Alright, so this plugs in here. There's the oxygenator. And this I can plug in right here. There we go. Let's see. And the nice thing is, Astroneer has a lot of variables and like you can play how you want. One, it's it's kind of a it gets it can be a little grindy at times, but it's kind of a go at your own pace thing. Kinda of like Minecraft, like, for example, you can kind of just do your own thing. Alright, let's see. Heathers. 
Alright, connect a tether to oxygenator. Tethers are placed. Alright, yeah, okay. Grab that. Uh, which direction? Do I want to go towards that device right now? Really, what I need to look for is some uh, compound materials. Where to find that? Well, that direction actually may be the way I need to go. Right now. So, first let's check this mission results from there. Because it will be good just in general. Small canister, yep, we can use that. Alright. Gather compound, gather resin, use the train tool to gather resources. Eh, oh well. We can work on that. Land filling. Fill a small canister with soil. Alright, let's equip that to my device. Well, there's some. Actually, well, there's some resin and compound. The compound and resin over there. Alright. Just went a little too far. Didn't connect. Come on. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I found the timing to work out pretty well for that, to like, for when to put down a new tether. So you can put them down a little closer together and whatnot, if you wanted. You can scan these to get research. Uh, research is very important, but that'll make more sense in a little bit. Now. More, more stuff to scan. F, gain more research. The research is the other thing you use to do things other than the missions. And uh, that's very important. You will need a lot of research. Let's get back. You can run, which is nice. So I can move along a little faster. So right at this very beginning here, I'll, I'm going to probably just stockpile a bunch of these basic resources. Resin and compounder is the next thing I need to grab. Not just because it's my current mission, but because I'll be needing a lot of it for a lot of things. And the more I stockpile, the easier it'll be to deal with later. Uh, items stick around pretty permanently, so I can just toss those around my base like that and it should be fine. Alright, that's a big research item. Uh, I need to make a research chamber before I grab that, though. No point in grabbing it right now, because other than just sticking in my base, because I can't actually do anything with it right now. There's compound. I do find it funny that, like, how some of these materials are and how they just, you know, stick out of the ground the way they do. But it's a nice way of going, yeah, there's resources here that you can dig up. So you do have to be careful not to get stuck in the rules sometimes. So, this, while the standard rule for this is to dig, it, uh, and if I, like, stay overfill my backpack, it'll just drop them off the ground so I can come and get them later. New mission lights in the distance. Okay. That's talking about that one structure. So yeah, if like say if I keep grabbing stuff here instead of running back with it now that I'm full, it'll just go oh, there it is on the floor. Oh wait, I forgot I had the extra thing your backpack has a couple of extra stands up on the top. And your gun hasn't used item slots on it. Ah, man, I forgot. Uh, I'm used to my older game. Um, I usually have some of these slots full with other more permanent things. And so I forgot I just could fill them up with everything else. But if I ever want to fill in this hole, I can just hold, uh, I believe it was. No, not control. That was. Uh, control was the. Uh, flattening so like you, it picks whatever surface you're currently on and when you press and hold it and then you can like lay it out from there 
you know, maintain that angle and everything. It's really good for making bridges, which can be very important in that. Uh, I was holding alt that let me put stuff back. As long as I've got a weird effect on the harvesting, I'm not quite sure quite how that how that's working with the harvesting by putting it back in like that. But you know. This game's a little wonky at times, it's kind of how it does things. But the only reason I can do, like, the one where I put stuff back and the, or the leveling is because I have that soil canister. Without a soil canister, those two features don't seem to work because I don't have anything holding on to any extra soil. You can just suck up soil endlessly, but it just disappears if you're full up on it. Alright, so this is really good though. We've got a lot of this now. It means we can make a lot of things. Though I'm going to need so much more compound before the end of things because you burn through. This compound is one of those materials you burn through like candy. Alright, there we go with that. Let's go back over there and grab some more. Yeah, this is a very cozy game, I would say. I think there's a DLC coming up soon that they are working on some features where there's actually going to be an enemy or something. Kind of like hazard-wise. So your character dies pretty easily in this game anyway, so even in just standard mode. I think there's a cave down there to be broken. I better be careful not to just fall in because that could be bad for my health. All right, we got that, we got that. There's some more up here. All right, let's grab that. That's the last tether off there, which opens up the amazing Some materials are a little easier to dig through than others, like this dirt. As you can see, it digs a bit slower. Uh, the, or the stone, I guess, but the mountain is great. Meanwhile, the dirt digs pretty quickly. Let me try something. Yeah, why does alt cause a lot of areas accidentally get dug in? I'm gonna have to remember that because that's actually really useful. I guess it because the dig effect affects large area in certain parts, or it could be a weird quirk of the game. But nice, I know a new digging method for getting a bunch of stuff real quick out of some of these holes, which is nice because they do take a long time to dig through the And it's a nice way to kind of balance everything out. Also, uh, just to point out, your when I press E and bring up the digging thing, like you see how it's point has an arrow pointing as this compound. I mean there's some compound in here somewhere, roughly. It usually points loosely in the direction. If there wasn't, it wouldn't show it. Uh, let me give a big example. I know there's still some compound in here, so it's still good. Alright. Well, we're full up anyway, so I should... Let me see. Or here, organic, resin... Can I just get one that doesn't show me anything? There we go. So, like, there's no resources in this general area, so it doesn't show any on the whole setup there. Alright, we're gonna take this back. I find it's easier to actually put these in my hand because then I can move a bit faster. If you're just carrying it like this, it reduces you to just a slow walk. So sometimes it's easier to move some of these bigger items by grabbing onto them. Most of this game, so far from what I've experienced, is managing your oxygen and power. While you explore further, find new resources, build new things, eventually you can go to different planets in the solar system. There's, what is it? I think I remember saying there were something like seven planets. There's a lot. All right, that takes care of that. Let's check our missions right now because I know we finished one or two. Fill a soil canister. Yes. Bite. Thank you. That'll be good for a lot of things. Lights in the distance. Yes, let's add that to my list. 
resource gathering. All right. Medium storage, medium platforms, and an oxygenator. All right. We need a lot out of them. So, the nice thing is, uh, if there is still pack, you can just stick them on your backpack like this, carry them around. Makes things a little easier. But, if you're actually... Let me sit here. Let me get my base all eaten out a bit. For the sake of ease, for placement of things, and just movement in general, it does help to build on a smoother surface. Not that you can't build on a non-smooth surface, because you definitely can, but it just... Yeah. It makes things easier, I've learned. Uh, my first base play with the kids, very rough. I'd rather do something a little nicer, just for the sake of the recording and making sure it's easy to work with. That blue bar on the, around the circle there is my soil level in the canister, as you can tell. Very likely. Uh, it, it's not going down a lot, even though I'm smoothing out a lot, because some of these areas are higher, so I'm actually sucking in some resources. But it's also going down in other areas, like this one, where I'm putting out more than I'm bringing in. That's good enough for now. We've got a nice area to work with. Yeah, and now we're out of resources anyway. So, let's see what we've got in here. We have that. I love how they can pull these huge things out of these platforms. And medium storage would be useful. Though maybe not as useful as it might seem. It might seem, uh... I tend to use the storages for some of the rarer stuff that I might come across, or equipment. Because, like, with compound resin and organic, they're so common, it's just literally just easier to chuck them on the ground in a pile. At least until you get, maybe later on, where you get some, ga some storage results that um, allow... Uh, what's the right word? Where you get so enough storage that you can just quit pour a bunch into one container. And just easily easily keep all of it in one place. So, as you can see, I have a 1,656 bytes I gathered from doing missions, scanning things, and what I did here is I pulled up my backpack with Q, and then I clicked on the research catalog here on the side. Now there are a ton of items on here. The ones that I can afford that I have enough bites for will show up in gray. And the ones I don't have enough for right now show up in purple or pink. Now there are four categories. There's a lot of items in this game. And sometimes it can be a little tricky finding them all because there's the small ca there's the small category, the medium category, the large category, and the huge category. And you'll need items from all of them. Just depends on what you're looking for. Smelting furnace. We'll want that eventually. Soil centrifuge. Really give that much of a try. I should. Chemistry lab. I don't even have the materials to build that. Uh, for starting off, I should probably. Let's see. Shredder. It eh, won't do me a lot of good right now. There's some items I should probably really look into getting first. I don't remember where they all were. Alright, there's different forms of some of the platforms, so you can get some different builds. Tractor won't be bad, but I don't have the stuff for it right now anyway to build it. So I'll hold on to that. Rail posts. Once I get the materials to start making these, I found these were very useful because you can make a very long train, like a six car long train or whatever, and you can equip it for, it, it can be really useful for if you're going out in a direction and just need to transport a bunch of stuff, like say you build the train track to a resource deposit rich area, and you just harvest a bunch of stuff, toss it on the train, harvest some more, toss it on the train, save you on time on trips. Where is this thing I need? 
Oh wait, research center is a chamber. That was what I was looking for. I was looking for the research chamber. I didn't realize it was already a lot. Alright, so what I need for now though then is to go to here. I will point out a few things. You've got all these little dots on the left, and you've got these dots on the bottom. So there are certain sections you can move between them with the arrows here. Or with WASD. But uh just going up and down with a it was a W and S goes between the left and right. But you can also go through it by going left and right with the uh, A and D or left going left and right will go up and down as well. Just also covers the bottom ones here. So because some areas will have multiple items in a category. So we've got the medium printer, the oxygenator. Right now I should make a medium printer. I'm gonna turn this on so that it just will automatically start printing once the resources are on there. I won't have to go in here and push the button every time. All right, I need compound. Let's put that on there. Yeah, if you don't set that button to just auto work, then anytime you want to print something, you have to put the resources on and then go in and push the green button until it start. Which it can be good or bad, depends on like what you're aiming for and what you want to have, like how much control you want over the situation. Because you could have problems where Hey, it just automatically starts printing. Now, some of these things need to go on platforms in order to be powered and working. Let's attach that there. The medium printer, as you might guess, allows me to print even larger things. Like a research chamber. I need some large platforms, so because I need large platforms to fit of all a bunch of this stuff I want to build. Grab a few of these. Some of them do take a little while to build. Depends on the item you're making. Maybe a few of these. That way I don't have to go between them quite as much when I'm working on this. Oh, I know why this is building so slow. My power is low. Uh, let me... Let me work on that. You can also lock the platforms down so that they won't be accidentally picked up and moved, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me see here. Feathers, oxygen, small caster, small generator. Don't want those. Now, it'll automatically attach to my backpack, which can be useful at times. But I actually want it for my base right now. Okay. On the side here. And let's grab some organic and burn that for some extra power. That'll help. Now this will print much faster now that it has enough power to. Okay, next, let's build... Oh, whoops, it, uh... Oh, that's the problem of doing that like that. Uh, let me turn that off after all. If I have the resources on my backpack, I guess, when I open it up, if it's set to auto-print, it'll just start printing. Alright, so... Okay, so that's a good reason to turn off the auto-print if you don't want to just have it built whatever story set if you already got the resource done. So, work in progress. This stuff does burn through the organic pretty quick, but you also can get organic really easily. Um, yeah, this game, you're not going to have to worry about it. You can unlock them too if you decide you want to move the platform, but that way I don't accidentally unplug stuff, basically. Alright, next I want to make a... Uh, the... This. Grab some more compound from over here. As you can see, it does not lock that onto there, it just locks the platform down. 
research chamber. That'll be a key device in helping me get more bite, which will help me in turn get tons of stuff unlocked. Like there's an achievement for unlocking I think a hundred items in the catalog. And I pretty sure there's more than that. But I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, because I obviously haven't played this game to the end. And if I have played it enough to see that like as you unlock some things, more things become available sometimes. Alright. My better air must have run out. There we go. I really have to get some of the better uh Maybe I can. One second. Five. Small solar, small wind. Ceramic or copper. Eh, I don't have enough for either of those, but I'll research them anyway. Both of those are very useful. I've got the research point for them. I gotta go do some searching for more of those resources. Uh, ceramic you can make using the smelting furnace and using the clay. And the uh, the other one. Uh, yeah, ceramic from clay and then copper. Well, copper. Or, uh, well, I forget what the resource itself was called, but you get it from copper. Alright, these I don't mind just turning on and leaving on because anytime I stick something in there, I want it to be researched. I'll get up to a little under 500 bytes out of that. Nice. Alright, is there anything else I need? First, let's move this over a bit. I feel like it's getting in the way of me. Alright. I do want to have a second research chamber eventually because I use them. Extra request platform. I don't care about that right moment. What do I need for this? Smelter. Come on. Smelter. I do have enough. Okay. Let's build that. I can. Smelting furnace. Yes. Thank you. Right now, I don't have the resources to, that'll be needed for it, but I will be for a while. That one there. Alright, let's grab two of these and let's make some tethers. So, the nice thing also is you can reuse a lot of these things. Like, I can pick up the tethers I've placed down just go around and pick them up again. So if I want to, I could just reuse a lot of those. But I want to go further and look for some resources. Now, copper usually appears up in the mountain range. And clay is usually down in these sorts of valleys, but it's a little harder to find in my experience. Like, I've only found a clay deposit or two. On occasion, it not, it's not one that is just everywhere. Unless I've just been completely blind to it. But that tends to be how some of these resources just in general work. A oh, nice little cave. But not quite. Doesn't look like it goes anywhere I need to go right now. Alright, it's getting a little steep to climb. Bye, Tether. That one did not place correctly. There we go. Ooh. Now what have we got here? Graphite. Alright, let's grab some of that. That's another one I believe tends to show up in the mountain more than anywhere. Or, or, I think it's more common in the mountains than nothing else. 
fact, I should grab some. Because I know there's a few... Graphite definitely doesn't get used nearly as much as a lot of the other resources. At least not that I've seen. But that doesn't mean it doesn't get used. Just not as often. There are a few key items, though, that I will want to build in time that I'll need for me. So, might as well grab some. Drilling mod increases improvements so that I can drill faster. Or, uh, yeah, because these rocks are taking a long time to work. Alright, I think we're good there. So if I find just a little bit more, I can fish a little more. There we go. Oh, I'm almost out of air. That's a bad thing to run out of. I was not paying attention to my to my oxygen gate. There's another big research thing. Let's take that back. Do you want to be careful on my slide down? We can get some nice speed, at least with the sliding. There we go. All right. I just want to be careful that my slide doesn't become a fall because if you fall too far, you can just die. Alright, that's still researching. That's not really unexpected with the, my currently low power levels. It's going to happen a lot. I'm, I really have to get some more things to build up my power. But, for now, I'd rather get the more viable options than the whatever currency got there. Graphite on here just for the ease of finding it later. Sometimes the click on points can be a little touchy as to which ones they select, which can be slightly frustrating, but one thing at Oh, wait, I should check missions before I run off into the mountains to try to find copper so I can get the solar panels, or not solar panels, uh. Wind turbines. Okay, printing platforms. Slot medium printer to platform. Done with that. It's large platforms out of the deal. Thank you. Powerful problems. Print and connect small generator to power network. Yeah, a small battery. Huh? And. Oh, wait, what else was that? Yeah, okay, it's a small battery. And for science, print and use research chamber. It's beacons. Okay. <laughs> Let's build you up a little bit. So beacons are really useful as just marking spots on the map and being like easier, make them easier to find. A little closer. There we go, and for now, let's stick this battery on here. There we go, that can now store up some extra power, just for the ease of working with that. If you're wearing, like, say, a generator on your backpack, by the way, like a small generator, and you have organic in your backpack, it'll just automatically burn it. So be aware of that, because that can be detrimental, depending on what you want to do. All right, for the sake of having a better place for them right now, I'm going to stick these beacons here for later use. I will want them later to help mark, say, like, worthy cave entrance, or I like to use them to mark the big buildings around the map sometimes, and other things like that. For now, though, I really want to go back up here and keep looking for copper, because since this region being as close as it is to my base is my best bet for that. Oh, there's some compound. I'll grab that. 
We grab that. There's some copper. Excellent. Alright, I do have to watch out for these plants. Uh, they're bounce fights. Uh, produces resources when tapped. Uh, produces the organic resource when tapped. If I use a tap, but they launch me like that if you get too close to them. So, and they can hurt, so... Uh, move some of these out of my way. Nice thing with this is... Can plant them, so you can be like, yeah, okay, I want a few of these over here. Over here. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a couple back to my base because it'll be easier that way to uh, grow some near my base in case I ever want some within easy reach. Doesn't have to be too close. Let's, uh, let's get some oxygen a little closer here. Uh, malachite, that's what the harvest did get. Copper, yeah. I do like that it, like, tells you copper material. So you know, hey, yeah, this will be what you need for copper. Alright, this is a nice little deposit. Uh, another reason to take some of these plants back to my base is you can, if you don't have anything better, you can stick them in the research device to get some extra bites. Alright, so that's looking pretty nice right now. Okay, well, that is a good chunk of copper. I can take back to base with me now. There was an achievement, I believe, for sliding uninterrupted for like 10 seconds. Fairly easy to get. Also, so these scannable things regrow. So don't worry about, like, running out of them. They seriously, they're everywhere. They come back. I'm not even sure if... I, I think some of these big ones even might come back. Well, I'm not 100% sure on that one, so maybe not. The big ones may not. The little ones for sure do, though. I've seen it happen multiple times. Alright. Take this back with us. Okay, I'm done researching the one. Stick another one on here. Okay, but now I need the. Where's my smelter? Smelter is very useful. But the downside is, like, say you put some stuff on it. No, nope, that's actually letting me pull it off. Uh, maybe once you turn it on? There we go. Yeah. No, that's weird. Let me pull those off. Uh, I did not let me do that before. No, I thought those, once they were on, they were on. Same field. Guess not. I'm a little confused now. In that regard, you know what? Weird things happen sometimes with this game. Alright, that's gonna take a while because I don't have a lot of power. Let me... Gonna put a few of these way over here. Sometimes when you harvest plants too, you also find some 
research materials. Now we'll be able to power the little generator at least for a while, and that'll help me get these things taken care of. Yeah. The downside with the refinery is it only does one at a time, and you have to pull off the one that it finishes before it'll do the next one. Uh, I think there's some ways I could set up an automated process with that, like with a farm. But right now I don't have any of those things and I'm not taking the time for it. So, we'll get move on. There is work light, that would be useful, but for now I want to work. Because that power will be very useful. Right on there and it'll attach, it'll be plugged into the base. Check our missions, I thought it cost something about fishing some. Or more bites. Alright, power extenders, battery, fully charged battery, splitter, huh? Research splitter, research power extenders. Okay, so that just gave me some free research. Like you that's also one of those things, like you can get some of these things by spending bites or by completing the missions. Either way works. Trying to use sam research samples. Three more tests. Thank you. Okay, we've got six bites. We're finding aluminum from that, right? I gotta find aluminum. Uh, aluminum is generally found underground. So I'll have to go downstairs and find that, but right now, I'll look at Exo Research Aid Unit. Oh, I know what those are, yeah. Sorry, I had to stop to think what was that. Um, but now I remember. Okay. And build another solar, small solar. Doing pretty good for an initial startup. Got a lot of the basic stuff we need. And I'm gonna just leave those tethers there for the moment. I really wish I had some clay. Let's see if we can find some. Not sure where I bet where I have to look exactly for clay. If it just happens to sometimes be in the fields, or if there's a more specific trigger for it, location for it. There's some more resin. That'll be useful later. I'm taking too long. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna go around without the tethers for the moment to do a quicker search. Cave down. Could be useful. Let's do a check. Alright, go grab some more of my tethers. I don't need more of that with me right now. That to speed things up. Ooh, 
I'll still be there. All right. Now, caves that you do have to be a little careful with, because it is very easy to just fall. And get stuck in places. You could get easily cut off from oxygen and the like, if you're not careful. I'm going to build a little ramp. Something's trying to shoot me. Ah! Nope. I can see that. We are a Steve mutant. His bane seed. It's because it's a mutation. It doesn't work with the research chamber, and I don't want to grow more of those ones because they suck. That's off kernels. Zinc. Zinc is also one I'll use a lot, but first let's get my oxygen free line down here. Sometimes you can very easily just click on your backpack. I have to work with that. Alright, that can go there. Well, since Zeke's here, I'll grab it. And we'll keep our search going for aluminum. those. So, so these things that you can just scan, you get a bit of bites real quick for scanning them. Uh, as my uh, my understanding is though that if you say take them back and research them with the device, you actually get more. Oh, there's aluminum here. Okay. And there's a aluminum deposit mixed in. Next. Okay, then I've a lot of reasons. A lot. Of All right, we gotta get back, cause I don't have enough room for all this stuff. And downside is I can't carry something in my hands and. Do all the other, and carry one with my mouse at the same time. That's a weird sound. Okay, this is good though. This will give us a lot to work with. Both for research character bite production and also for just general device and item production. Off. I wonder if that's because that one's the next one up to be used. Maybe that's why it is it boxed in whichever one's about to be used. Zinc. Zinc. I, don't need, I do need zinc, but not right now. Put that down. Aluminum. That's what I want. Aluminum. Zinc. Aluminum. Okay. okay yep, that was the one time to be used. Yeah. 
We've got to find one of these over here just for ease of access later. In case I decide to want them for something. Alright. Daylight's coming, so we're getting a lot more energy production. That's good. Let's just save the cobble for a moment. Really, I find the wind production to be a little more on the useful end for what I like. It just wind happens pretty often on this planet. I'm betting there's some planets where one production type of resource of energy is more efficient due to other ones not being available. But for the starting planet. Wind's pretty common, so it's easy. once I can get a wind turbine of a sort, like now. Oh, wait, that was for I need for that now. My brain. What was I need aluminum for? I need aluminum for something like a mission. Let's take a look at that. You know, a lot of missions. Okay. All right, a medium storage again. You don't even have to storage on a device, on anything, you can just have it on the floor. I'll save the aluminum on it for now. I will want aluminum for later. Okay. Well then... Back to my ceramic search, I guess. Where is clay? this to check the area. Clay's a little trickier to find also because it doesn't stick out as much, if that makes sense. It uh, kind of blends in with the, some of the ground a bit easier than some of the other resources. Carbon. Come on. Is there no clay around here at all? I'm going to have to dig up a whole area. Well, for now, I need to get back to oxygen. And I need to be faster. If you die, it's not a big deal, by the way. Um, just to explain. For the sake of the game, if I run out of oxygen and die here, it'll just drop my stuff right where I die. And then I can come get it. Death. And you spawn. Now you do have to be able to find your stuff again, but they do give you a little death marker. I have found that if you take too long, like stuff will, some of the stuff might disappear or scatter, which is less than helpful. But there we go. Grab that. There there is, everything else is otherwise pretty much right where I left it. More research materials. I do really need to make a second research thing once I get some more. Gotta find clay. Lots of resin. I don't need the resin. And there's some compound. Got that mission done. Nice. Harmless flora, specimen, mold harvest, aprutus harvest seeds, produces resources when tapped, organic. There. That's a 
you get these nail shells they appear around the area. Alright, let's see here. Out of tethers. Uh, about here. These chances of clay here. Where is it? It's in the distance. Completed. Oh, this one's weirdly close to the ground. Most of the time in my other game, uh, they tend to be a little trickier to get. Like, significantly off the ground. Alright, these are cool. Uh, these are basically your quick travel points. Once you get them turned on. But you have to get enough power to them to do that. Where is clay? Well, I'm going to have to do some searching for clay because... I do really find the wind turbines to be useful. Let's plant a few of these over here. I always like to move some of the plants that aren't trying to kill me closer to base just to have a, a nice look. They grow super fast as well. Woo! Have it. If later, maybe that be. Yeah, it should have at least for that. Alright. Well, for the moment, since I'm having trouble finding clay, I guess I will just do more solar for now, just so I have the power, because it is really a pain when I don't. Alright. And if you want to save your game, you can just go back to the shelter, press F, saving game. You're done. And that moves on from there. Uh, right now it has it as save one. Let's rename it to enter save name recording confirm. There we go. Alright. Well everyone I think this is a good spot to end this first episode. We've established a base. We've got some of the basics down. I still really need to do more. A lot more. There's so many little odds and ends I want to make that I haven't yet. I also need to get some major upgrades for my system so I can do some better digging and whatnot. The boost mod, for example, here would be very useful. Oh, I can afford that. Let's just do that. Boost mod. Yes, the zinc. Once again, one of those things that I actually do need to take for. Things coming on quickly. But yeah, this will this should be a good spot to end this episode. We've made some really good progress. We've got out to the device already. We've got a lot of basic 
basic base establishment taken care of. Found some good resource points. Still need to find some more. I'm gonna want a ton of aluminum for later. And I really need to find some clay. Because I want to have ceramics to make some other things. Okay, that one, where are you? Boost mod. So this will attach to my gun and should make it so I can mine stuff a little better than I would normally. Stick that on there. Okay. Grab that. Oh, boy. There are so many things to do. So many odds and ends to side on. Okay, grab one of these. I'll probably mark the that building over there with it. Even though it's visible from this base, I want to be able to you know, see it later from other locations. Just for the sake of navigation purposes, it'll be useful. Uh, yeah, that should do it for now. So, hit like, hit subscribe. If you've played this game yourselves, uh, what did you think about this game? I found it to be maybe a little grindy at times, but at the same time, this one I at least found to be enjoyably relaxing, even with the grind. And I do enjoy building out the base and just exploring, finding weird things occasionally, because there are some odd things you'll sometimes find out just lying around the place. Things that you'll stumble across, like a wreck of some debris and or some weird devices, sometimes with some harvestable things or scavengeable things. It's it's really cool. And I like the I like the general design of this game. It's very uh it's fun enough to play for me as an adult, but it's also like my kids love this game and I can if they were to play this game I could trust that they'd be able to just play it you can play multiplayer if you have people to play with uh, there is co-op I don't know exactly how many people you can play with at a time but I know you can play with at least one other person and I'm pretty sure you can do more than that Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling on talking about the game. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good night, everyone. Bye!